crazy. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Check the microphone. Is there feedback? You hear me okay? All right. Let's start again. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the afternoon. Hope you had a nice one. So I am Jennifer Weston. I am the facilitator of the Evergreen Catalog Interest Group, and I'm joined here by quite a few people that are on the organizing committee of the Catalog Interest Group. So yay, catalogers. <laughs> Our presentation this afternoon, though, is a subcommittee of the Cataloging Interest Group called the Authorities Working Group, and we're going to talk a little bit about the work that we've been doing. We are a, a, a working committee, a subcommittee that's been in existence for less than a year now. So this started last year in June when we had Authority Fest as part of the Hack Fest. So thank you to Rogan who gave us time during Hack Fest last year to kind of just co-op two hours of that time to come together as a cataloging group and then invite anybody that wanted to participate. And we found that we had a lot to say about authorities. We had a lot of questions about authorities. We still have a lot to say about authorities and we still have a lot of questions about authorities, but a lot's happened in the last year. Less than a year, really. So, so we're, we're just here to give you an update, update and we'll we introduce ourselves as we come up. But I'm joined by two other members here. Then I'll just, just ask each of you to introduce yourselves as we come up, up since we're in this thing. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep, keep talking with mine and then we'll, I'll pass, pass this over. We can give you updates on where we are. So here we are. Here we are. So we'll introduce ourselves individually. So we are Jessica, Maggie, and Jennifer, and we represent just a few members of the authorities working group, and we have a full list of the others. So we'll talk about our individual libraries and information types. I believe I said I was with Equinox, if not, that's who I am. And Maggie and Jessica will introduce themselves here in a moment. So our presentation is going to cover three primary things today. I'm going to do a very, very brief overview of Authority Fest last year. Really, that's really that phenomenal. It's something at the end of Authority Fest after two hours. We said, you know, we could have come for four hours. And we should probably do these next year and the next year and the next year. So we'll probably try to go up to the Hack Fest again to revisit that. But that's not what this is. Today is just a revisit from where from our conversation last June, talk a little about the forming of the authorities working group, what we've been doing, and then hear a little about authorities in real life. We've got two different libraries represented here to tell you their experiences with authorities in, in kind of a brief way and how that's informing the authorities working group. So, authority 2022. Who was there? Anybody who's remote participated? Okay. Oh, this is going to be new to me. This is exciting. Okay, good. Good. Um, so, so what, what we're, we're sharing, sharing here, and of course, these slides, slides which you all, all of them are here. Conference. Conference. We, had we had a presentation. A I did a nice, nice. Oh, nice. I did I a did presentation it. that was then um, um, kind of diverted by all of our questions that we had. So the presentation is there about just how authorities work in Evergreen. It's just kind of a basic overview of that. But it led to more questions about okay. How do, How we, do want we want them to work, work in Evergreen? Evergreen? So that presentation, presentation is still there. It's kind of our starting point for our conversation. What, what you will also find is our, our very, very raw transcript, transcript of our discussion notes, unedited, and, and thanks, thanks to, to those, those people, people that were there to help me capture all of this, because they were like, but, but does it do this? And how do I get started? And what do you mean? I don't have authorities. How do I know I have authorities? And then, oh, but that doesn't work either. So you will see our discussions and then how we came to, oh, gosh. We really, we really, really need dashboard, dashboard authorities. authorities. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so we, we really went from, from okay, okay, we have all these questions, questions to, now we have all these ideas. ideas. And, and you will see, see that evolution. Notes. Notes. Um, they're, they're, they're that are, are, are just there, there to share with anybody. anybody. You'll, You'll also see the top, top is also very similar, this bulletin board. This actually ended up just people sharing their different resources that they were using. So we had a very generous group there. They're saying, look, we are using authorities, and here's some of the resources we're using already. And so you can just kind of see some of that's also preserved on our pad bulletin board. Two more resources support. from Authority Already Fest. One is the Evergreen, Evergreen documentation. documentation. This, this is a link to the Evergreen documentation. documentation. This, this is a link to a cheat sheet for the Evergreen documentation. documentation. What we did is pulled out pieces, pieces, pieces that apply to authorities from the administrative pieces, pieces how to create a thesaurus, if you want, if you want something, something other than the Library of Congress. Of Congress. You can I can do all, all of that. that. And then in, in addition, addition to, to, okay, then how do you just really work with the authority members themselves? And we can then sit down to the document. So that you so don't, you don't have, have to go through the official, official Evergreen document documentation when you're just starting to learn how authorities work. If you have questions, this is, this is one, one of those getting started and just giving you context for how it all works. works. Condensed down, down into just a, a very brief version. And then, and then lastly, lastly, we combined 
from, from that group, group and, and since then, then just kind of list resources. resources. These, These are your authority, authority record, record resources. resources. So where, where can you go, go to get authority, authority records? records? Where can where you go, go to get information about the structure and format of authority, authority records? records. This, this, is is an ever, this, this is a static, static document, but one of the targets of our already working group is to grow that. But this is the one that we're working with the party test. So, so again, again, out of that came the question about how do we not lose the momentum? And that's, and that's where the authorities, authorities working group came from. What we did, we did learn, learn, we had our control vocabulary. I do, I do want to put next here. year. Goal, goal number two, but next, next year that's a control vocabulary. We all know this. So, so our authorities working group, I'm going to talk about group members' history, activities, and resources very briefly before we then talk about how authorities are being used in our life. This is just, just to let you know what's coming next. I do want to no, say, say a moment about, about our slide. We believe we've been doing some very, very heavy, heavy lifting. So if you're wondering why the construction why thing, that's what it is. is. Because we feel like we're doing very hard at work. Do you do want to just get a brief mention here of all the people that are important to the authority working group? This is not a club. This is your show up the meeting. You end up on the slide. It says you're a member. Right, well, right, Benjamin? You've been to one group. You're a member. Welcome. Well, See how easy that is? Just join us. Show up at a meeting. You'll end up on the slide next year. And not necessarily with homework, right? We didn't give you homework on your first call. Not right away. Oh, you did, man. That doesn't count. We don't give homework to everybody. Take your chances. But no, here are the, the very fine people that have joined us since. Elaine is listed, as always, as an advisor of marriages because without you, we would not have gotten this off the ground. So thank you, Elaine. You'll see the others listed here. So thanks, thanks everybody. everybody. Um, I, I have one have a slide later on. We, we are meeting monthly. monthly. It's just, just a, a, you know, I, another I have that we have. have. And we're working, we're working around schedules now, so I can't say we meet the first Tuesday or last Wednesday or that kind of thing. But our our meeting invitations will go out on the cataloging list, sir. So we'll continue to to make sure that those are presented that way. Everyone's welcome. And I'll talk a little bit about what we do with those thirty working thirty working group meetings. See if you're interested in joining us. So I've kind of covered the history already. June was authority test last year. August was the cataloging interest group meeting. Who here has been to a cataloging interest group meeting? Yes. Those of you that have to join us. Next one is planned. But we did the authority fest in June. August, we dedicated our entire meeting to talking about authorities because we didn't want that momentum. Mike. So but kindly joined join us at one point, point because, because we said, said, hi, Mike, Mike. we have we all these questions from authority so we want to make sure we're giving really good answers. answers. So he so was really game, game. We, you know, yeah. gave me questions yeah. ahead of time. And then and so he joined us and, and very, very bravely, bravely listened to catalog and questions about authority And then we documented those and came back to the authority working group and said, okay, where do we go from here? And that's what we did in September. We had our first meeting, the authority working group, start talking about where do we, Where do we go to support the community for the effort of uh, improving, improving authority records and functionality? What we, what we did learn, learn is that, that it should not surprise us that this was not the first time this has been done. We found we all kinds of documentation in 2013, a full 10 years, years ago, ago, where the same, same conversation was being held with different, different members of the community. And so, and so our, our, our goal, goal or our commitment to this, this we don't want to let it just fade away this time. Recognize that it cannot be one library, library, and it cannot be one person, it can't be just a couple of people. people. It's going to take all of us kind of adding to who are to things we're that committed about in continuing to book the developers to answer, answer our questions, questions and, and to document, document though, what, we're what we're doing. doing. And so, so a part of it is some things that you know, authorities that will complain about that they're doing what they're, what they're supposed, supposed to do. And it's a matter of making sure we're documenting that they're doing what they're supposed to do. Provide materials around that about how to start using them instead of it just being these various things. things. Either you can really know what it is, you can have really strong opinions, opinions, or you don't, or you don't know what it is, kind of scared about what, what happens. happens. And so we want, want to, to be a, yeah, a resource, resource for, for both, both perspectives. perspectives. So, our goals, not going to go with these, but essentially, I've covered those. those. Let's, Let's document how authorities should, should be working currently so that it's not, if you haven't worked with authorities, give you kind of a, a really good roadmap about what you should expect to see. We need to do research about how libraries are actually using them, using authorities. We need to test and confirm and document those things, because there are lots of launchpad bugs, but some of them are quite old, as, 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 as a lot of launchpad bugs are. So we want to say, is that still a thing? But let's provide really, really good examples of what we're seeing. We decided we needed to give really specific attention to local subject headings, because while we're talking about just 
authorities Sorry, in general were usually talking about library of Congress, but there's so, so much, much more than that. that. And we've got, we've got the representation on the working group of people, people that are in the area about that, that are, are very, very much involved in projects that require local subject headings. And, and really, really one, one of the things that, that we didn't think, think about as we come together, together, but we have a built in testing group. So anything, so anything that we it's changed, changed or anything that, that we, we want to do this kind of documentation, we've got to permit it to do it. We just need to do it. So our challenges, we didn't have a testing group. We've got a built in group, we have community demo servers. The authorities are on them. When, when we load the authority records, records, they disappear over the weekend because that's what the community server does. You load the records and you can start again because that's what good community, community, community demo server does. does. They don't keep all your junk week after week. You test on it and then it's there for somebody else to use. So we really needed a good testing environment. Um, um, big thank you to Jason, Jason Boyer, Boyer not, not here in the room, but he worked, worked with us to give us that, that testing environment for a little while. Um, we turned turn off, off whether you were or not, that, that refresh for a few weeks so that we could practice with that community demo server. And he turned on the jobs that run behind the scenes that linked the authorities with the reference. That also was on the community server. But that was a temporary kind of thing. So we had to have a better solution if we were going to continue to work month after month as a group. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned the third time. Jobs. We didn't really have, have any reporting of businesses. I mean, the reports were just bad news, but we didn't really have any authority related. Um, um, we had limited records. records. We, we saw, saw that conversation, conversation uh, about the Concerto data set earlier. And we want to focus on we don't have authority records in the community data set. This is something we can certainly provide. And we didn't have a central home for any of the authority share resources that we had other than sharing email. So we need to be very careful to pull this together. So, so challenges, challenges but not that I'm not going to overcome. We did discover some things beyond what we identified as challenges. One of them that we found out this isn't surprising, but it was good to actually validate, validate this. this. Libraries, libraries are working, working actively working with authority control or doing that with vendors. Libraries are trying to do this on their own. So whether you're working with Mark and I or backstage, you're doing that in a very purposeful manner, very mindful of how you're working that. So you know at these conversations. With, with your authority, authority vendor, vendor, you're, you're having this conversation about what you expect to happen and what is actually being updated in your members. So there, there is a level of expertise that already exists in this community that we can pull from. Speaking of a level of expertise, I'm giving you a third bullet there. We found that they could train librarians in the Ameren community. And some of our authorities working great. Talk about experience in the I mean, that's just nice in the whole. So we are very, very proud of that. We've got the entire consortium that are pulled from that. We've got, got people, people that are that working, working every, every day, day putting together get records, records, and they're yeah. trained to do this beyond just, you know, your, your, um, your big record training. training. You're trained as authority. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about how we're uh, taking take advantage of that. And then, and then we, we also, also some libraries have such a good book, and you have local workarounds. We thought that's really kind of cool. Let's talk about that and how we might want to uh, consider that. And, and then uh, with, with the rest, the rest of the community, knowing that that's, that's not a, a small thing, thing. you can't, can't just say, oh, this works for a long time, like, plug it in, and it doesn't work that way. But we want to investigate these really nice things that have been developed at the behest of people that are trying to do this work efficiently and effectively. So here's where we are in the wrap up of this over to my colleagues. But a couple of times we've done, I just want to brag about some of our progress to date, even my listening here. One of the things we talked about is we need a community-supported test, test database, and thanks to King County for providing that. We now have the authority of the group. Anybody that wants to participate, again, you're welcome, 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 welcome to join us. We have, we have a testing sandbox, sandbox database, database for authorities. The, the job of the records and authority, authority records are in place, so this has been overnight. As of just this month, we have tested and successfully confirmed that we can load the records and authority records to the test database. All of that the stuff, stuff has to happen, happen, to, happen to, to set up your import profiles and your match and, and, done. Done. and we've um, now, now got a really good dedicated, dedicated database, database and dedicated process. process. Best, Best practice, practice for loading this. And we're, and gonna we're going to continue, continue to do that. that. So now so that we've got that, that in mind, we can start adding with authority, authority records. records. And, and what we're starting to do is put together that list of what's missing. James Patterson isn't in the container data set. We probably don't want him in the data set. But... We don't, we don't have, have, you know, you know as the uh, conversation we heard earlier about, about enhancing some computer data, data, it was, was came, came from a very specific place. place. So, so, so we don't have things like AV in our computer data. We don't have a lot of audio. We don't have DVDs. 
We don't, we don't have, have a lot of things, things that we're we want to build that sense. So, so we're, we're, we're very, very much on our, on our way, way there. there. So we're we're looking at something to different members of the third working group before we get this list. Very soon. I'm out of the time zone. Very soon we'll be including this new data set. Third thing I have a list of things we've been working on is we want to identify shared custody already recognition. This is looking at those libraries that have custom tools. And the one we're going to highlight today Ever so briefly, briefly, is the King, King County, County Library has, has a new heading report. report. This, this is a really cool thing. thing. It has been a minimum to the Catalog District. We've looked, We've looked at, at it multiple times, times in the artist working group. group. It essentially it looks at records after they come in. You pull this, pull this report, report once a day, it's a tag. You just import records and they don't have authority. Now, if you're working with authority control, you can wait, you know, until your so records go out, out of order, order. Or, you or you can go back and do this sort of meeting with the court. Especially on your new materials, materials that you're adding, it won't be discoverable. It won't your be able to find them, it won't be able to, be able to link to an authority record, record that kind of prevents a level of discovery that's there. So this, so this is, is a very helpful report that King County is using. They've been um, doing some tweaks to it now that it's been getting some attention from outside our open people who did this and that and opened the authority record. You want to see that, that demo is linked on our catalog oh, page. They are glad, glad to do it again at any time. But um, also, also, in the authority working group, we had all these questions, questions so thanks, thanks again, again to Mike. Mike. And, and to Bill Erickson, who joined, joined us, us both of them, and Paul and Andrea to, to make sure we were translating the document. We had a call about the headings reporting what it might be to get into the community. So there's conversations around going, but we were just thrilled that there's this thing there already that is well thought out as far as request from, from people working with authorities. And so we're continuing, we're continuing that. So that's, that's a partnership, partnership that will, 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 I am no doubt, doubt that will create a new support. support. It's, it's not, not something, something that's really 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 something that we're very, very much actively looking at. We've also created an authority support group that we're unveiling today. So you haven't seen it yet. It's a very, very rough draft. I'm going to show you just. It's not going to come up because I'm sharing my. Oh, there it is. So here's, so here's the Authorities Working Group wiki. The idea is, of course, just to be able to share resources. Share resources. You know, they're not you know, pretty images, not, you know, no bells and whistles, but it's there. there. So we, so now, we now have a home to share resources. resources. We're going to keep working on the structure of it, but we've, but we've taken, taken the things like the authority resource links that are there, there, there already. already. We've got other resources. We've got some of the um, slides like that, that presentations that just and Maggie are going to talk about there. We're going to talk about have a home now. We're going, we're going to keep working on it. We're going to announce this to the cataloging listserv, and we will talk about it next. at the regular, regular meeting. So, yeah, yeah, we have a wiki. And then and a couple, couple of things just to wrap up. up. Part of that was just collecting shared system resources, resources, which is what, what we're doing, doing today. today. And, and we'll continue to add that. documents to the wiki. So, we're meeting that goal. And we're also testing Chrome functionality and documents. We're continuing to do that. We're going to get our testing results in a little bit of a better format to share, then we'll do that. So we've, so we've, we've already done a lot as we sat down and started talking, talking about this conversation. We wanted to just say, okay, what's next? Next? So, gosh, we need to celebrate what we've done already. So these are the ongoing tasks. Some of them are completed. Some of them are very, very far down the path, path of, of um, being brought to community. I guess I guess really, really what we want to do at this point is highlight two different members. It's really we're talking about the authorities in the world. I'm just going to pass this over. And then before we wrap up, we're going to talk about what's next. The three of us. All right. Welcome, Maggie. Hello. Um, I'm going to use my notes so I don't stray off on a tangent. Um, um, my name is Maggie Hewlett. I'm a cataloger and local history technician at the Niagara Falls Public Library in Canada. I've been there for 18 years in previous roles. So our authority journey. I, along with another cataloger um, at my library, sat in on a training session with Jennifer about authorities, and we were inspired to tackle the project of our authorities in Evergreen. I've never worked at a library um, where there was ongoing authority uh, maintenance, so it was a lot to learn, and like especially like how authorities work in Evergreen. So we decided to create an authority cleanup project proposal, present to our CEO, the, the IT department, department and our manager. manager. So, so in this um, proposal, we talked about, about what authorities are, the benefits of them. We gave a snapshot of, of our current landscape of authorities at Niagara Falls. Falls. We had, had none. <laughs> the, the, so, so the access, access points were in our bibs, but there was no authority 
file, file to match to match, match on. on. So we so had, we had zero, zero in our authority file. file. Um, we used real life examples from our catalog. So I took screenshots of messy examples. There was so there was a ton of James Patterson <laughs> variations. You know, some spelling mistakes, um, or if they didn't have the the birth date at the end. So when you click on it, all of them weren't being gathered. So having a screenshot of that, like it's not just catalogers that are affected. It's patrons. It's the front end. You know, staff that are helping people find items. So we included quotes from vendors and we proposed that we would outsource the work through them as it would be too time consuming to do it ourselves, especially as we had no authority file to build on. We were approved to go ahead. Um, we chose Markive and we went from an authority file of zero to over 138,000. And I'm very thankful I did not have to do that myself. <laughs> So, so right, right now, now we're, we're just finishing the process, process of uploading. Of those, those are the, the, the authority, authority records. records. Um, and, I and I took screenshots of various searches, searches before that was done, done so, that so that we could compare. Um, um, so we could do some comparisons after, after the work, work is complete. complete. So, so this will help us know, know the authority work, how the authority work helped clean up our catalog, catalog and it'll help us to communicate those changes and benefits to non-catalogers. Um, we received we reports back from our of uh, 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 records, records or authority, authority records, records that, that did not match um, because they didn't know which John Smith to use and others that were local. So from those reports, our priority now is to focus on our local headings. So a lot come from our local history department. For example, a local cemetery name, there wasn't an authority file for it. So we'll have to build those ourselves. Um, we also, also updated, updated our indigenous, indigenous subject, subject headings, headings recently, recently um, using the work that the University of Manitoba did, did. As, as, well, as, as Library and Archives Canada, Canada has not officially, officially updated them yet. So our so bids have the new headings, the new indigenous headings in them, but there but isn't an, a, 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 a corresponding authority, authority record, record to match against. So we're going so to have, have to build those stuff. ourselves. Um, um, Niagara Falls Public Library joined, joined the authorities, authorities working, working group, group to, learn to learn how to we can best use authorities in every and, and, and to hopefully be um, of use, use like be a fresh, fresh set of eyes as we're, we're starting authorities from scratch. So, so we provided an authorities 101 presentation to the wiki, as well as a template libraries can use to create your own authority cleanup project proposal if that's something that you want to tackle. So we, so we hope, hope to, make to make the, the documentation, documentation on creating your own authority, authority records, records for local headings simple, simple and understandable and user-friendly. And, and that's, that's what Niagara Falls is, is in our authority journey. journey. And, and we, we love, love them. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Can you hear me? I'm Jessica Efron, and I'm uh, representing the State Library of North Carolina, which is part of NC Cardinal, um, the library consortium in North Carolina. Um, as a, an employee of the State Library, I work for the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, and as such, um, I catalog records for state publications and for about six special libraries uh, for state agencies like the Department of Transportation, the Department of Labor in North Carolina, as well as all of the special libraries in the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, including libraries for historic sites and um, the state archives, library collection, et cetera. So we deal with a lot of government uh, publications, and as such, we've been a NACO library for at least 20 years. I've been with the State Library for about five years and came in just as we were going with an authority control vendor, Markive. So I learned a few things of um, authority control in Evergreen for about three months we were doing like closing death dates and actively importing changed authority files but we've finally learned that there are two catalogers in my department we finally learned to trust to Markive and let let Markive figure out what needs updating in our quarterly updates so 
as uh, essentially state publication catalogers. We do a lot of original cataloging and create NACO uh, records for all of the state agencies. Like if, if two agencies merge or they separate out or we find a publication from 1962 where the Department of Health and Human Resources briefly had a statistics section on cows, we would create either a local or a NACO authority record and put it into OCLC um, and maintain those authority files because as the state repository library, we also distribute our mark records to the state repository libraries that collect the digital and state publications. So this is all to say that we have invested a lot of time and energy into authority works. Um, starting way before my tenure, there is actually a card catalog and not a small kind. There is a huge card catalog in a back room that has all of the state agencies of North Carolina traced back with their merging and things to the 1920s, which are not necessarily uh, linked to OCLC or anything. So we love NC Cardinal paying for our archive service and they do a quarterly scrub of records that have been touched in the last year. And it, it works, works really, really well. well. And we feel that we have pretty clean data. Yes. So never Probably really went in very in much after Markive to start, start closing records or manually and tweaking things in the authority files. Um, um, and then, then in December, December uh, of 2022, the North Carolina North Department of Natural and Cultural Resources um, put, put out, out their yes. inclusive language guidelines. And we had not really used the authority function in Cardinal to deal with subject authorities. And suddenly we were charged by Cardinal uses uh, LC subject headings and the State Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, you know, it's a Southern state and the cultural resources have some questionable language, um, as, as does the, the Library of Congress subject headings and controlled vocabularies. So, so we, we were suddenly put, suddenly put in this position where we wanted, where we wanted to, to manually be up keeping up with authority changes in, like in real time so that, so that things like um, illegal aliens would get updated quickly to non-citizens and as the language is being replaced we can we can keep up with it and that project is when I realized that I had no idea how authorities worked in Evergreen um I had imported subjects and a lot of uh, corporate, corporate names and individual, individual names and did overlays okay. and sort of hit that button to control things. And sometimes I would search the authorities or just hit the chain button to try to link things up and the pop-up would show some things and I could sometimes find it. But when you have to go in and try to find every instance of uh, illegal aliens, illegal alien singular, um, uh, illegal alien uh, fiction, illegal alien juvenile fiction video. video. It, it doesn't, doesn't really, really work. work. And um, up until that point, I had been thinking, well, I'll just write the documentation for how you can do these quick authority fixes. And I think that some of that frustration is what uh, made me join the authorities working group. And so We've, We've been, been trying, trying to contribute to uh, some of those resources, resources. like NACO, SACO, where you get your lists of updated resources, um, and some of the very basic information about why authorities, why they're so valuable, um, what they add to your catalog, and just trying to contribute some experiences that we've had out of frustration of trying to like develop workflows for changing authority records like in real time so it's it's been very interesting and um we've been able to sort of discuss with others it's not our problem we've been having it's it's something that we all need to work on and uh, identify things that aren't linking, when they should link, why they're not linking, what sorts of 
uh, education we need to be doing across, especially a consortium with all different investments in authority control and um, move forward so that the authorities uh, interface is a little bit less intimidating for everyone. And that is all I have. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come back. So to, so to wrap, wrap up, up, we're going to take turns, turns talking about each of these because, because we still got a lot of work to do, but we found that we've got a group that's really enjoying doing this. I would be remiss if I didn't just take a moment and, and thank um, those people that aren't with us today that were part of this original committee and they're very much active members of this. Darcy Demerhoff from King County Library. Sister has been just fabulous to work with, and she's been instrumental in sharing with us some of those custom things they've been doing. They've got teams that are really sharing a lot of their documentation with the Steel Learning Resources Group, in addition to these two libraries. And Mackenzie Johnson from the University of Santa Clara Island, also one of the original family members of the Authorities Working Group, also giving us some of the work that you're talking about with the Indigenous. We need the UPI is very dedicated to that. I just want to make sure that we're there and watching. Hello to Darcy and to Mackenzie. So what's, what's next, next for us, in addition to continuing with, with, with all the work we're already doing, is, is that, that we are committed to providing providing supplemental documentation. We talked about we've got the cheat sheet that, that's, that's already there from the existing Evergreen community documentation, documentation. but we, so want we want to provide supplemental, supplemental documentation, provide sample, sample workflows and records, and answer that question. What do you what do, do you when you really need to start working with the authority records? records? We want to provide the end user just real world, this is what it looks like if you walk through a workflow of the various different scenarios we've encountered. And we've got a list here of about four or five more things we're going to take turns talking about, about, and then we'll take some questions. Yeah, yeah alongside, alongside that, we also want to have toolkit for libraries that are considering implementing authority. authority. So we know that it can be an intimidating thing. So we, we want to gather resources so people kind of demystify the process. And, and you can turn, turn to those when you're ready to tackle this project. Okay. And establishing best practices, um, we would like to have some documentation also guiding people um, along with national guidelines um, for different forms of authorities. Um, let's see. There's really little out there about just the coding or batch editing or searching. And so we'd like to get that started too. There's also a need, also a need um, um, to expand other, other subject, subject headings. You know, we're not just relying on Library of Congress or Library and Archives Canada. Canada. Um, there's, there's a lot, a lot of, focus of focus out there of other people making, you know, local, local headings, headings, especially focusing on social justice, justice issues, you know, updating, updating those terms that should be updated. So we want to provide um, access, access to those to resources, resources so you know what the, uh, the, terms, the terms are that you can add to your catalog bar. And this is my call for action, action is, is that, that one of the things, things we are committed to doing is growing, growing the authority working group, because we've got a great group now, now but we can always use more hands, because we are, are very, very committed to testing, testing, documenting, and sharing things, things that we're learning. learning. So, so we'll take everything that, that, that you're sharing, sharing with us from your workflows, but to make sure that we're able to reach more people and create these educational materials, we need you. And finally, we're hoping, hoping to do a little bit of education for those smaller libraries. Um, NC Cardinal, for example, has some libraries that have maybe half of a catalogger involved and who has maybe 20 full-time hours a week to devote to such things. So if we could have some uh, actually live or recorded information about conformity and subfields and the things that will help the authorities match up behind the scenes so that the yeah, overnight, overnight linking will work better and there won't be all of these like free floating empties. So just keeping the education uh, uh, current, current and up to date so that people will get involved, even if they're not particularly uh, devoted to it. Thank you. And I guess yes, I should say the SACO and NACO is a subject authorities and name authorities. I know. We, I meant to do that earlier. Yeah, we've, we've gone in there. Nah. All right. So, so please join, join us. us. There, there are coming monthly meetings, May 10th, June 7th. June 7th. These this will go out to the Catalog Working group. group. We are here, here to entertain your questions. questions. We are here, here to entertain your suggestions about how we can demystify, demystify our authorities a little more. more. 
And, and we, we thank, thank you, you with, with our, our mandatory, mandatory cataloging authority. authority. Any questions? Yes, yes sir. Um, yes, yes, and this, and this is, is part of all these materials are putting together the information sessions, sessions but I, I, I can give you my 30-second 30 30 answer there. there. Is when the authority the record is there, there, it links to the bid record. record. So, so it has, has to match, match and all these things happen. happen. When, when you find a match, match, and it happens over night typically, depending on, you know, your sys admin or sys admin or whatever, you link them. And when that happens, because you're very familiar with authority control, you have to have the authority record stored in just a separate place than your bid record. When they link together, that link and there's a unique identifier that then recognizes that. So then you can find every other record that has that subject heading or that name heading or that series or series or tracing or whatever those look like. But all of that, that's... At, at, at minimum, minimum, that's, that's what, what authorities, authorities are doing, is, is exactly, exactly that. that. It's just linking the bids with the authorities. authorities. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, that, 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 that depends. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and please come, no, and, and I'm not trying to be coy. I mean, please come talk back to our so meetings. This, this is the kind of thing, thing that, that, I mean, obviously, there are substrings or, or, you know, or are things that are a future improvement is just being able to really recognize and split out the substrings. Because if you're just looking for dog fiction, I mean, yeah, they will find dog fiction. Um, um, one of the things that just came out, out um, earlier today, today is going to be in place. place finish, I think, is the, the, the did you mean will now the results will uh, pull, pull on the looking, looking at the cross references. references. That if you're familiar with the authority control, control, that we'll just do that. that. So authority authority records are not just, just there for Lincoln, but, but it also the you know, um, this kind of now we're using authority records to give results specifically for that very reason with the C also. Okay.
So you come across the Okay. <laughs> we have, we have question. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think only C4 links get for browsers. I've actually done a browser search now, and if it search the wrong thing, it will say, Did you mean this person? But it only works in browsers. So that's wonderful. Okay, let's. I'm going to see if you can do the benefits. Not the browsing. This is an applause line. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Galen and that we have something to test.